Hey, uh, today I want to talk about Chris the Ageless. Uh, is he good? I think so. Let's get into it. Okay, so Chris, um, I think if you had to put a number on uh, who is the best champion in all content inside Raid Shadow Legends? Uh, one out of ten. I would rate him a ten. In absolutely everything. Uh, you know, even with Clan Boss, a, a lot of times uh, he, he's like in the best world record teams for Clan Boss. So you, you can't you can't beat this guy. Uh, so. If you look at his reviews, he has 5 in the arena defense, uh, 4.9 offense. Everyone loves this guy. Yeah. How many other characters have all 4.9s? Oh, well, there's Fire Knight's Castle, 4.4. Uh, all 4.9s and a couple 5s. I don't think there's any other one. Clan Boss should be a 5. Uh, people, I think, just overlooked him in the beginning, you know, a long time ago before uh, Deadwood Jedi came out with his optimizer thing um, to where you can get good comps for the Clan Box. So, anyways, um, Chris the Ageless. Uh, I have one. I have maxed out. I've loved this guy for. I, I remember when I got him, I was just sitting on my couch watching a movie, and then I pulled this dude, and I'm just like, kind of in awe. I'm like, are you kidding me? Did I really just pull this guy? It was not a two times event. It wasn't a. It wasn't a ten times event. It wasn't an anything. I just pulled a void, and I, I got him. I, I really believe that's like probably the best. Uh, time to ever really get anyone valuable is not during the two times and not during the ten times because my last couple videos I've <laughs> not had the best luck so um, I have him in a provoke set uh, I like it when he's always provoking because he can take the hits I actually have him in low health uh, I, you know, a lot of people they put him like 80 plus thousand health um, I have him high defense though 5,000 defense I don't know that's, uh, that might be overkill for defense, but um, nothing for speed. He's just to sit there to take the damage. His resistance at close to 500, which is pretty good. His accuracy is at almost 400. That's pretty good, too. So when it comes to his masteries, um, I just want resistance. I, 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 want, I want to max out my resistance with this guy. Uh, that's all I focused on. Um, what do we have here? Increase resistance by 10 for each debuff on the champion. So it's like he's always constantly getting resistance uh, And then He has you know provoke so this can extend the provoke. This is the max or hexer So, you know the, the masters they did play an important role So uh, enter the morass <laughs> the morass Attacks all enemies has a 30% chance of placing 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Uh, the damage is based off defense, so that's why my defense is so high. I put it to 5,000 because he actually hits pretty hard, surprisingly. Um, I don't know what his multipliers are, but for a defense champion, he hits pretty hard. Um, then we go over here to his A2, which is called Century Vigor. Attacks all enemies, places a 50% ally protection buff on all allies except for this champion for two turns. Places two 15% continuous heal buffs on the champions for one turn. Uh, increase the duration of all buffs by, or of all, increases the duration of all ally buffs by one turn. So that's great support. Increases the the, the buffs by one turn. Um, puts the continuous heals on him. So when he's getting hit, he's getting healed. Um, well, I mean, he's not getting healed by getting hit, but he's he's just constantly getting some heals every once in a while. This is uh, what I mainly use him for. This is a provoke. I really like this. Um, he provokes all enemies for one turn. Places a 60% increased defense and the speed uh, on this champion. Oh no, just, just the defense on this champion for two turns and then the speed on all allies except for this champion for two turns. So um, the provoke, he's a great provoker. He's a great tank. He takes out everything. Um, so yeah, let's go. I have him pretty good power too, so he looks pretty cool when he's in the arena teams. I'm gonna show you an arena fight with this guy. 
Um, I think in another video I have something similar to this. Uh, or, you know, I show. Let's, let's, let's go to this easy team right here. Alright. So I, I put him on my all defense or resist team. So, let's see. So he's gonna go last. Uh, he, oh, and he also puts the shield. I, I didn't even tell you about that. That's his like coolest thing that he has. Is at the beginning of the turn, he puts the shield on everyone. Uh, so everyone starts off the turn with a shield, which is amazing. So uh, I'm pretty sure he put the provoke on those two people. That was that was at the beginning. These guys aren't gonna have a chance to hit nothing. There's too many provokes going on. Uh, see, now I just made him attack, so he just provoked all three. <laughs> Yeah, and then now he's doing the final provoke, so now he has all their attention. They're all gonna want to attack him. Not gonna get nothing. Not gonna even scratch him. Looks like they like Rogni too. So this could be a long fight. <laughs> Let's see if they, she can do another res. See, that's, that's that's okay. You know, that's not too bad. I'm close to ten thousand. That's not that bad. All right, finally. Okay. So, um, you can use him. There's there's comps you can put him into. You, uh, I like to use him in. Who do I use him in? I don't think I use him in dungeons anymore. But he's great for ice golem. Um, what do I have? Yeah, I have my ice golem team. Um, Spider, no, I have I have a speed spider team. Uh, Dragon, he can help out with you know the defensive portion if you need that in the team. Um, Fire Knight, I would say that's his weakest point because he, he's slow. Um, the goal for Fire Knight is to make sure the Fire Knight doesn't attack. Uh, he's good on teams that have enemies attacking, so Fire Knight doesn't really work too well with him. Um, and then in Doom Tower, psh, there's so many teams in the Doom Tower that I use them in. Uh, he helps me through everything. So, I'm very fortunate to have him. A lot of people want him. And a lot of people have pulled for him and spent a lot of money to try to get him. Um, but I haven't. Uh, I've, I've been really fortunate. I've had him for a while now. Probably a good six months. Close eight months, maybe, around there. So... Anyways, um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you uh, my look on Chris the Ageless, and uh, I hope you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, see you there.